Hi everyone. So for this video, we're going to discuss clinical UPS. So for the first question, which of the following is a measurement dispersion? So answer will be various. So median, mean, and mode. So all of these will be measurement of location. Then for the next, the following data are collected from 26 customer at a supermarket and represent by the stamp and leaf diagram below. Find the first quarter. So for the first quarter, we need to find the location first. So total data here is 26 times 1 over 4. So we get a non-integer. The integer of this S will be 7. So it will be data number 7. So arrange this data in order where 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It will be equals to value of 35. Then for this question, find the standard deviation for the following. So for this, we can use our calculator to help us. We take the mode of statistic, then we choose one variable. So if you don't have frequency column, you're going to shift setup and then going down, find for statistic. So on the frequency column, then you key in your data, which is 20, 30, 40, 50, and key in for their frequency, which is 4, 7, 3, 5. So we need to press AC first. So for new model of calculator, you press the button of option. It will be located at this side left hand side at your calculator so all your function in your statistic it will come up so for this model i need to press shift one to find out its option here so i need to find for standard deviation so i take number four so for yours you just continue with your one variable data and they will list out all the options for you all the function for you so for here i want standard deviation i will take number four so it will be ready calculate for us, which is 11.23. So 9 round off become 2 for. Then we continue for this question. They say they want to find for mode. So we need to identify the class that having the highest frequency, which is 400 until 500. So from here, we find its lower boundary. So this is 400. The class before that also 400 therefore the lower boundary will be 400 and then we find out what is your d1 d1 is the difference frequency before the class and d2 will be different frequency after the class so 23 minus 17 we give a 6 so that will be your d1 then d2 23 minus 15 so it gives you A. Then for size of the class, you need upper boundary minus lower boundary. So for this class, you can see you have 500. Next class of the 500. So upper boundary is 500. Lower boundary is 400. So your size of the class is 100. So we have 442.86. Then continue. So a set of data has mean. 10.89, median 10.58, and standard deviation 2.23. We're going to find the person coefficient of skillness by using the formula having mean and median. So we plug in our value. Then here we have 0 0.417. So we round off the nearest answer will be 0 0.42. So for the next questions here, given a set of five numbers having mean 12, so the number of data is 5, mean is 12. Another set of number having 6 and mean is 40. So we need to find mean of all number given from two sets. So the total number here will be, become 11. So we need to find out what is your mean. So you need to find out what is your summation x over 11. So for this 12, will be equal to summation x over 5. 
So for this five data, it gives you 60. Meanwhile, for this six data here, 40 mean will be summation x over number of data six. So number of data here will be 200 of 40. So total of x will be 60 plus 200 of 40. So it gives you 300. So the new mean here will be 300 over 11. So which gives you 27.27. Next, for the distribution that's skewed to the right. So when you're having a distribution skewed to the right, the value of media always in the middle. So skewed to the right means your graph will be prolonged to the right hand side means so mean will be greater than your median and then your median will be greater than your mood or in the other way we can say mood is less than your median so your median at the middle so the mood will be higher part of the distribution mean will be at your right hand side so the first one mean will be bigger than mood it will be correct statement so number one number two media will be bigger than mean so this is wrong number three the mood will be smaller than median yes it will be correct so statement 1 and 3. Then based on this box and whisker, we can read out the median is 90. So this is wrong. The data is skewed to the left. So we look at the box here. Left hand side boxes is more than right hand side boxes. So it is skewed to the left. Yes, correct. In the quartile range will be 15. So this is your Q1. This is your Q2. And this is your Q3. In the quota range goes to Q3 minus Q1, which is 95 minus 80, which is 15. Yes, this is correct. So statement 2 and 3. Next, A and B are two independent events. So which of the following statement is false? So independent, their probability A intersect B will be probability A multiplied with probability B. So their intersection can be find by multiply individual probability this is correct when independent pa given b is equals back to pa so in the section it will be multiplied for each individual event so the wrong one will be union so union still will a union b equals to pa plus pb minus pa in the set B. So PA in the set B in independent only we can apply this. Then which of the following statements are true? So this one we need to analyze from our Venn diagram so that we can see whether they're having the same bounded region. So for the first one, not A, union, not B. So let's say this is A, this is B. When we're having not A, so we're not going to touch any circle of A. So the shaded region will be my not A. When I want to union not B, so together I will combine with the not B region. So we are not going to touch. So lastly, you can see it will be all the region except in the middle. So it will be A in the set B prime. Prime means not. So this is correct. And then continue for statement number two, where we want not A intersect with not B. So where not A, it will be the region not touching A. So when I want to see intersection with not B, so for not B, I'm going to use shaded method, so not B. So this is the place of not B. So not B. So we, as long as we didn't touch B. So for the intersection to happen, you can notice that it only having the yellow region with the shaded region will be this part. So this is the part where their intersection occur. So therefore it will be equals to 1 minus A union B. So it's supposed A union B only. So not a union B prime. So this statement number two is wrong. Then for statement number three, not A in the set B plus A in the set B will give you B. 
So let us see the result. This is A. This is B. So when we're having not A, so this is the region of not A, intersect with B. So finally, intersect with B means for this part. So now I have this not A intersect B as my answer. Then we're going to plus means we're going to add in A intersect B. So A intersect B will be this in the middle. So totally, these two regions will give us a probability of B, the region of B. So this is correct. So 1 and 3. So given PV is 3 over 7, PW 1 over 3, and probability P union W is 16 over 21, then V and W are, so we need to identify, we try to calculate probability V union W. So as we can see, probability for V plus probability of W. So here, it already gives us as much as 16 over 21. So we will find out our P, V intersect W will be 0. Therefore, for the intersection which is 0, these two events will be mutually exclusive. So which of the following statement is true about probability? Probability always in between 0 and 1. Intersection equals to 0 when they are mutually exclusive. And then probability A, it will be... Okay, so this is need to draw. So we find out this A and B. Not A intersect with not B. So not B will be this region. Not B as long as I didn't touch. So finally it gives us intersection happen here but not in the circle. So when you add in intersection, it will be here. So when these two regions add together, it will be equal to A. So not, not really. We can't see it gives us A. Then for the box number from 1 until 30. Perfect square will be the number of 1 square is square, 2 square is 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16, 5 square 25. 6 square 36 already over, so the number of perfect square here is 5. So the number of not perfect square is 25. So to find the probability of not perfect square, it will be 25 out of 30. So therefore, it will be 5 over 6. Then in how many ways we can choose 5 cars from 8 cars? So it will be 8C5, answer is 56. Next. The bag containing of five red ball, seven green, then find the way to take out these three. So we need to take out these three from the bag. So here must be having two red and one green. So to get this, it will be five, choose out two for red color, and then seven, choose out one for green color. So here we have. 70. Then which of the following statement is true about permutation? The number of permutation for n different objects is n factorial or n pn can be accepted. Yes, it is true. So the number of n distinct objects taken r time is n pr. Yes, so formula will be n factorial then over n minus r factorial then over r factorial. So this formula will be wrong. And in permutation, the order of element is taken into the consider yes. So the statement will be 1 and 3. Then five letters are selected from the word geography. So find the number of five letter word. So you need to find out five letter word. It must be having one letter of G. So from here, you must having one G. So four is random. So let us see our choices here. We have G, G, then E, O, R, A, P, H, Y. So when this one G is identical, you want to choose out one G. So it will be one choices only. 
and then the rest of it four which is randomly seven choose four so now you have one g four random alphabet then you need to arrange them in words so you need to take this five alphabet and do arrangement we need five criteria so therefore we have 4200 here then find the number of the arrangement of the numbers do not begin with the digit 9 from the set of 2 4 6 8 9 so you have 5 digit for the first place you cannot take 9 so number of way it will be starting from here we will have only 4 choices and then continue the rest of it here also leaving four choices because you have five number once you take it one for the first place so the second place will remain four then the third places here remain three and then remain two lastly is one so we have 96 then the distinct word can be formed using minimum so we have m i n so i again then m again u and m again so you can notice that we have three identical m two identical i and one n and one u so how many different arrangement can be worked so total number of words here alphabet is one two three four five six seven so it will be seven factorial when we arrange them you have three identical m so we need to divide by three factorial and then two identical i so it will give you 420 then the five story book from 12 different story book are selected which of the following is true so we are going to choose so for this formula 12 c5 in combination it will be 12 factorial and then 12 minus 5 factorial and then 5 factorial so it will be equivalent 12 factorial over 7 factorial and 5 factorial so it will be 2 and 4 then how many work consists of three alphabet can be formed from the word wonderful so we have w o n d e r f u l so you need just three alphabet and this work start with f and end with w therefore the number of choices here where f having one choice w also having one choice to put here in the middle we already put our f and put our w so we have one two three four five six seven seven choices so in total we only have seven ways then in how many ways can be four mathematicians and six statistics can be arranged in a row if mathematicians are together so this one to be together so one group here plus six we will having seven factorial then time with this arrangement within these four people so you give us one two zero nine six zero then if a and b are independent so independent means p a in the set b will be equals to probability a times probability b so now you're going to find what is your a in the set not b so we find out where is your a in the set not b for not b in the set with a means we want the whole circle of a but not accept this so here will be equals to probability A minus A intercept B. Where probability A is 0 0.55 given. So A intercept B can be obtained by probability A times probability B. So it gives you 0 0.33. Then the probability of event A and B such that and A intercept B also given. So we're going to find A union B using formula probability a plus probability b minus probability a intercept b plug in the value 
So it gives us 8 over 15. So that's all for this discussion.